Hey guys, it's me, Mr. Calypso84 here again, and uh, today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Today I'm going to be uh, kind of making like a guide on how to use Dice Cloud to make your own D&D characters. I really like to use Dice Cloud because it's got a lot of uh, systems like in place for like uh, it's got a lot of automation basically, like automatically calculates the carry weight of what you're carrying. It automatically calculates your experience. Etc. Etc. But anyway, uh, in today's episode, um, this will probably be like a multi-part series. But in today's episode, we're going to be covering how to set up your uh, race, your class, your ability scores, the proficiencies you get from your class, uh, your HP, and your hit die. So to do that, let's get started. First things first, we need to make a new character. To do that, you just press this little plus symbol down here, and you click new character. I'm gonna name it. I'm gonna name it Mr. Calypso. It will be a male, not M A. M -A. And uh, he'll be a human. We'll say regular, easy to do regular human. Add that in. This is uh, this is pretty much your the screen you see whenever you you know this is your stats. It's what it says right here on this tab. Uh, this has like your armor class, your all this, but this isn't where you edit any of this. You don't really do anything here except for like when you take damage, you minus off your health, you do your death saves, you have conditions like uh, um, unconscious, uh, exhaustion, stuff like that. Where we actually need to go first is we need to go to journal. We go here, and as a human, we'll click on human here, we click this, we go over to this little pencil, and we click that. We add an effect. We go in here, and as you can see, there's this little thing. This is no stat, blah, 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 blah. Go to ability scores, and as a as a regular human, not variant human, we add plus one to every ability score. So we're going to do that here. Add effect, ability scores, dexterity, one. Add effect, ability scores, constitution, one. Add effect, ability scores, intelligence, one. Add effect... Ability scores, wisdom, one, and add effect, ability scores, charisma, one. <clears throat> now, uh, that's pretty much got the human thing down. I, I think it might give you skills and stuff, and uh, I'm not really sure if it does, but if it does, we'll say you get, I don't know, one skill at basic proficiency. So what you do is you just click add proficiency, which is this button here. Already done it, as you can see. And then you click this, and if it's a skill, or a saving throw, or a weapon, or armor, tool, language, etc. We're going with skill. So we're going to go with skill in, we'll say he's proficient in uh, nature. And he's just regular proficient. There you go. That's all that set up. Now, what you do to add your class is you just click this little plus sign here next to level 0. And that'll set him up as level 1. And we'll say he's a fighter, as the fighter is the simplest class. He's a level one fighter, and what this does, well, uh, well it basically, you know what the class does, basically. But this, this is how you set it up on here: add effect, go to stats, hit points, base value. His base value is ten, right now. Plus his constitution modifier, but. Uh, Currently, he doesn't have a con modifier. Now, there is there is some things you can do on here. Uh, that is, um, it, well, one thing Dice Cloud does is it automatically adds your Constitution modifier to your hit points. Um, you can also type in a formula here, which is like 10 plus con mod. Uh, but since he doesn't have a con mod, it's zero. And I believe you have to put them in these little brackets. That's backwards in order for it to work but uh, like I said since he has no con mod it doesn't matter but we, we're not gonna go into that yet because that's kind of a little bit advanced thing okay so there's that uh, next we need to do is I need to click add effect again go to stats no not stats hit die actually and a fighter he's level one he has one d10 hit die uh, next we need to do is we need to go to add proficiencies and as a fighter I believe you get two skills
Get my book out here, sorry. Uh, yes, you get to choose two skills. From acrobatics, animal handling, athletics, history, insight, intimidation, perception, and survival. So we'll give him proficiency in survival. What's that here? And we'll give him proficiency in animal handling. Next, we need to do his weapon and armor proficiencies. We just click add proficiency again, and this time we change it from skill to weapon. And since he's a fighter, he's pretty much proficient in every weapon. So we're just going to write every here. You can write simple or martial and have two different types of proficiencies, but it's easier just to do it like this. Now we're going to go with armor. As he's a fighter, I'm pr pretty sure fighters are proficient. Yeah, they're proficient with all armor and shields. So we're going to just write all armor. Not amor. Armor. Not amort. Armor and shields. That's that. Uh, okay, so they don't really get it. They don't get any tool proficiencies, so we don't have to add anything like that in. But they do get saving throw proficiency, so we're gonna click add proficiency again, change it from skill to saving throw, and they get two of these. And the first one is strength, I believe. Yes, strength. And the second one is constitution. And that is pretty much everything you get for being a fighter, and that's everything you need to add on to here. Okay. Click the check mark. There you go. There's all your proficiencies and stuff. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to roll his uh, his stats. And basically, in order to, uh, I'm going to go ahead and roll up a set on uh, Discord real quick. You guys can't see this, of course, but. Uh, I recommend using Discord, by the way. It's uh, if you have the Avray bot, it is a really good thing to do. Okay, so we're gonna just do this. I rolled 46, keep highest three in order, and I'm gonna do this in order of how they are. And all you gotta do to edit their stats is click base ability scores here. It's in the features. It's in features, the features tab. Click this. Click the little pencil. First thing is this dexterity. I rolled a six, so his base value is six in dexterity. Constitution, I rolled a 12, so he has a 12 constitution. Intelligence, I rolled a 14, so he's rather smart. Wisdom, I rolled a 15, so he's pretty wise, pretty perceptive. Charisma, I rolled a 14, so he's rather charismatic. And for strength, I rolled a 10, so I don't really have to change this one. Now, that's the base ability scores. Pretty much base ability scores literally just means this is what they are before anything is added to them. And as you can see, here they are, 6, 12, 14, 15, 14, 10. But when you go to the stats page, they're all 11, 7, 13, 15, 16, and 15. That's because we added in the pluses from being a human. Here. And, uh, yeah. So I think that's pretty much everything that I said I was going to do in this video. Um, I believe so. So, uh, next, in the next video, I believe we will discuss, uh, the background, uh, what you do for adding in your background, your spells, how the inventory works, uh, stuff like that, how attacks work and all that. Uh, we'll do the equi- we'll do the equipment and all that. But, uh, yeah, uh, this is pretty much the first video. And uh, thank you guys for watching. And please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one, hopefully soon.